In May 1992, the government finally announced its plans for privatising British Rail. The new government guidelines make disappointing reading. The question is, just what kind of rail network will be on offer in the 21st century? The latest brand of rail network can only be described as pathetic. Technology taken from the mid-70s, severely depressed passengers, and not all passengers, will enjoy the luxury of a train. One of the main benefits is greatly inflated profits for some unpopular private firms. Perhaps the greatest trend has been a determined move away from trains and their replacement with pretty uniforms and skillful marketing. It goes without saying that the supposedly pro-rail transport secretary plans an ever-expanding and improving road network. And that's brilliant. Frankly. Absolutely brilliant. Here in Oxford, the journey time to London is over a decade, and fossilised passengers complete their journey by horse-drawn carriage. This is in stark contrast to the speed, cleanliness and efficiency on mainland Europe. I think it's really embarrassing. I just think it's really embarrassing.